And we get to our final speaker, uh, Thibaut de Surel. As we have just heard, brain-computer interfaces can sound exciting and like science fiction. Imagine a world where thoughts become commands, where a paraplegic person could control his prosthetics only using his brain. This is the world that could be made possible using brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs. And this, only using a dozen of sensors equipped on the scalp of the subject that each record the electrical activity of a certain area of the brain using electroencephalographies, or EEGs. Then, those EEGs could be translated into real-life commands, widening the scope of possibilities. This can sound very exciting, but unfortunately, needs to be tempered a little bit. Indeed, EEGs are subject to numerous variabilities, such as the environmental condition, the subject's cognitive state, its fatigue, or the task requirement. Therefore, using a BCI requires frequent recalibration, hardening its use on a daily basis. In my PhD, I try to tackle those variabilities. For this, when I have an EEG, I convert it to its covariance matrix that gives insights on the connection of the different areas of the brain. Moreover, a covariance matrix has some interesting mathematical properties. It is symmetric, positive, definite, SPD. It therefore lives in the space of SPD matri matrices that can be endowed using a Riemannian metric leading to a curved space, a Riemannian manifold. It has been shown that when dealing with SPD matrices, leveraging this Riemannian geometry leads to better results when doing classification, for example. To be a little bit more precise on my work, I'm trying to build a probabilistic framework on the manifold of SPD matrices. For this, I take ideas from probability and statistics, mix them with tools from Riemannian geometry. By, by modeling a set of SPD matrices using a probability distribution that inherently accounts for this Riemannian geometry, I hope to better understand how variabilities impact data sets that come from real-life BCI experiments. For example, I could build a more informed classifier, but I could also reduce, classi uh, cla reduce calibration time by transporting the knowledge learned on one subject onto another one using Optima Transport, for example. I hope that my work helps us better understand and tackle variabilities that occur in BCI uh, experiments, but also help people that are already equipped with BCIs better control them without needing constant recalibration. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.